It's Saturday the 9th of October and look who it is. Once you're in Dallas, you got to make the rounds. Dan Milliken from the Taking Off channel. You can see by the t-shirt there. Thanks for stopping by, Dan. Yeah, and you know, I have a partner, a co-host in this. Yeah. But uh, since that last In the Hangar taping, I have a contractual thing where she can't be in the same room as I am. So. Christy, Christy Wong. say hi, Christy. <laughs> that is not true about the contractual thing. I just—it's funny. So I just got done with the uh, check ride on the triple seven. The check rides never get easier, but I can give you some ideas of some of the trends in the industry, and why I'm glad to see Christy here this evening. Because Christy, you are representing the paradigm of hope for the future of our industry. You, what's your status right now? You just got off of uh, IOE at Envoy. Yeah, I did, and I am officially a qualified line pilot. In fact, I go on standby tomorrow. <laughs> Airport Yay! standby? Oh, boy. You know what? I am super excited about that, though. I've had so many people make comments about, oh, you're going to get standby, and good luck, and cruise scheduling's going to have their way with you. And you know what? I am happy to be here, especially after being furloughed, and I'm just so yeah. happy to be here. That's right, and that's one of the key things, one of the key takeaways from this evening's event is uh, attitude is everything, knowledge is key, and speed is life. But having the good attitude about this career throughout the whole ups and downs, that's why you're going to be the paradigm of hope. Because here's what I'm seeing happening is um, the guys that had the great uh, careers through the airlines have been dragged kicking and screaming out of the cockpit at age 65 right. because they they had, rode a very healthy wave and had the perfect career, made captain very early on and made a lot of money. That leaves the rest of us that are uh, just approaching age 60 right now and we had a somewhat rougher career as uh, as soon as we got hired pretty quick afterward, 9-11, then uh, mm. bankruptcies and then recessions and then uh, a, a pandemic and so we've had a very rough career so that <laughs> that leaves us, uh, some of us with a little more jaded perspective so you might see that I don't know if you'll see that at Envoy so much but it, when you get to the major airlines which I'm sure is going to happen very soon you might have some of us still laying around <laughs> with a, <laughs> with a little bit different attitude but you're on the beginning of a hiring wave that's going to be unprecedented and you're going to be back in that very happy spot of of uh a lot of seniority very, very quickly. I hope so. It's, you know, I consider myself very, very lucky. Um, you know, last year when I first got hired and went through training, I was so excited, but at the same time, I was incredibly scared because that was the very beginning of the pandemic. Every day, you know, we just didn't know what was going to happen. There were changes day by day. And then when we got that news, that we had back we were getting furloughed and October 1st when we got furloughed it was like oh man is this it we had no clue if we were going to get back I just I tried really hard just to keep a positive attitude and I'm trying to maintain it I've seen even some of my cohort get really jaded very quickly um it's you're too young for that <laughs> exactly like I I'm just I'm trying to keep it positive and I, I got back and I'm super lucky I got back on the 175 and I got these at home in DFW, I could not be happy. Yeah, no so, commuting. You don't have to commute. No yeah, she could have nope. gone to what LaGuardia or Chicago and been on the one forty-five. Chicago, Chicago or Miami were, were the other mm. two options. So we just retired at our airline here, the major airline, 90 folks just last month in September. Wow. And we're talking, uh, I believe the, they're looking at hiring 2,000 pilots over the next year. So yeah. a huge amount of hiring is, is coming coming along. I'm and, coming for you, Juan. Okay, you can, <laughs> I'm, I'll leave the seat warm for you as I head out the door here. <laughs> So training went well. Um, this whole thing, this whole airline cycle with, with uh, training and check rides is driven by a lot of things. And this is something we talk about quite a bit. AQP style training, advanced qualification program training. You've got your FAA minimums, but they're not good enough, we found, in the 121 industry. And so we developed AQP training. And that's what we spend the most of our time is doing the things out there that can really kill you. Uh, for example, we had a great study on um, loss of accurate airspeed information um, mm. and, and a deep study in that. Uh, uh, unusual attitude recoveries from a point of a, a wake turbulence upset, for example. Uh, real world examples of that are coming from the data. So though the, the industry is moving fast and things are moving fast, one thing that's not moving fast is 
the data that we need to continue to refine our training for AQP style things. We are basing, basing the training on real world events that are happening out there, but we're always fighting last year's battles. So for example, we're still studying scenarios that happened to the Air France Airbus, for example, yeah. many years ago, right? And we've got some, some more recent events that we haven't got any data yet that we can't even really discuss in class because the NTSB and the FAA are not complete completed yet with their investigations on these things. So you guys are kind of behind the eight ball on developing new real life scenarios because you can't do those real life scenarios. They were too soon and they haven't been thoroughly investigated. Correct. Yeah. And so that it's the investigation's got to finish and then we got to develop a scenario around that. And then that scenario around that has to further be FAA approved. And then. Ten years later, you get to work it in the sim, and you're actually doing the actual. So thing that's in the why sim. that's why you're doing the Air France. It was what twenty years ago, so it's about yeah. right, perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and so that's why with the speed and velocity of information like we're doing right now today, that's that's why the, the things that we do, I think, are so compelling right now, is because you can stay a little more ahead of the game of what's mm -hmm. going on out there in aviation today. So, I, I love the real world training. I mean, at your level, you know, you've got. Uh, you know, I, I would imagine you've got your set of whole things, but in the GA world, you know, it's not just, you know, S turns around a point or whatever, or lazy eights, or it, it's, it's you know, how to handle an engine out, loss of thrust on takeoff, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. the things that really kill, mm -hmm. those are the things that we need to train. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. That's right. And that's what we're doing in the airline industry. And Christy, you're going to see a lot of this. The training will change over the years. There's going to be more automation. Um, the... I don't say the training standards are coming down, but the training may be simplified quite a bit, and the procedures may be simplified quite a bit in the aircraft as we get this increase in automation. But you're entering the career at a very exciting time. Yeah, I mean, I saw changes just from training last year. Hmm. They they added a couple things this year that were a little bit different. So, but it was really fascinating. Um, and they talk a little bit too about you know why we do something. So we did the unusual. Um, attitude or that set recovery where they literally flip the airplane upside yeah. down and they're like all right now recover and mm. then they put the sim in motion and you're like oh you know yeah um, and the, uh, unreliable airspeed that was a really interesting one as well so you're seeing the same some of the same things uh, on your oh, yeah. end good 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 oh, absolutely all right so that's that's the speed of information and and uh where we're at with the industry right now so it's it's changing fast but at the same time some things aren't changing too fast yeah, it yeah. Takes but it. at least it's changing you know it, it, of course it's it's lessons earned in blood but you know at least they are taking them forward and and there has been progress and there has been uh, i guess uh, correct me if i'm wrong through the 121 world you know going back to the the 40s 50s 60s we have seen it come down oh yeah the accident significant way down yeah, yeah, yeah. because of of AQP direct correlation yeah. between AQP Absolutely. training and the accident uh, some rate. Some progress is better than no progress. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've had substantial progress, so it'd be good to see that kind of spread throughout the rest of aviation. Yeah, general aviation. Ninety-one. That's you, yeah. Dan. It's on you. <laughs> yeah. So we do need to spread that with real-world things. So I think the flight review is a good place for that. Plus, uh, getting the CFIs to to impress upon student pilots. Uh, real world scenarios, the the real world scenarios that are getting people killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we had another um, a P two ten. I fly a two ten. It's not a P. Yeah, what'd you hear about that one? Uh, only that I thought it was on landing, but then uh, on takeoff. It was on takeoff. Yeah. So you know, all four people aboard died mm -hmm. um, yesterday oh, yeah. outside of Georgia. Mm -hmm. So uh, very sad. We don't know that anything about we it. We don't know anything about it yeah. other than it was a P two ten. Four fatalities on takeoff. Yep. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we still got lots, lots to learn, lots to do to, to get these to, to stop. Yep, get this accident rate reduced for GA as well as everybody else. So that's the update from here, Christy. Thanks so much for getting back in the saddle there and doing airport standby for us. It's one yeah, day you'll get, 
you'll get a you'll get a contract that doesn't include airport standby, but uh, reserve is <laughs> reserve is okay. I only spent 17 years on reserve. Here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. Reserve is a part of life. It's you know? right. Make it your friend. Did you? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chasing a wide body dream out here on the West Coast. Oh yeah, wow! Yeah, yeah. So that's it. So stay tuned to Christy and Dan here on the Taking Off channel. Thanks so much for your support. We'll see you here. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Juan. Bye. Say good night, Christy. Bye bye. Good night, night Christy. <laughs> Cheers. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs>